Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. We are leaving tomorrow to go get my guy Drogo and uh, go have some fun at Gatorland. Uh, but today, it's about getting a lot of work done, finishing and wrapping things up. So what do you say? We get to work. And a lot of people ask me about how I kind of view success. You know, success is about hard work as much as it's about anything else. Today, we have to put the ceiling in the slot room. This is the last thing that we have to do. And this is basically one of the gratings that goes up. To basically give you an idea, this goes up all the way to here, bolts to the wall, and then the next piece goes on, the next piece goes on, and we fill out. Now, this would have been so much easier to do if we didn't have walls and we didn't have trees. The downside is we just didn't have enough time. We ran out of time. The actual roof part didn't get here till late last night, and we knew that we didn't have enough time to put the roof in and then do the walls and do the tree. Now, so we just decided let's just go with this it's gonna make our life a pain in the butt today but we're gonna do all right we're gonna somehow get here fortunately I've got Will Nace in town I've got Jeremy in town of course my guys are gonna help so uh, it's gonna be a team effort but you know what again hard work is about success right you know so if you want to be successful in whatever you want to do and I know there's a bunch of people out there that want to do things they want to follow their dreams the biggest thing you're gonna to have to realize is you're gonna to have to work your butt off for it. So we have our work cut out for us. Again, this is the first piece that goes in, and then over here are the next pieces. I tell you what, it's gonna be absolutely insane to get all of these things in here and locked in. It's gonna be, wow, but look at how amazing they look, right? I mean, that is an awesome, awesome deal. It turned out even better than I expected. I absolutely love them. But nevertheless, a lot of work to do today to get ready for tomorrow. We're gonna to have the best time we can do and not stress out too much, so I'm just waiting for everyone to show up and then we are going to get rolling on getting the ceiling in. So the first things we're gonna to have to do is actually tear down this top here because of course uh, that is going to be where the piece is gonna get bolted to the wall. So once we tear this down here, I can make my mark about 12 inches down from the ceiling. I'm actually gonna put a, a cleat up there which makes that piece of wood just so that when we set, we can set this up, we know it's level. Then we have to actually find the studs with the stud finder and then we have to adjust the brackets for those studs and we're gonna be drilling right into the studs with this first piece. And if we can get this first piece level and kind of plumb, then the next piece is just kind of build on there. But uh, my biggest concern, honestly, is just the actual room we have. I mean, the piece is exactly the size of the room. And as you can see, we have this in the wall. We have trees in the way. We've got a door over here. We've got a lot of kind of obstacles we're gonna have to overcome. But first things first, we just have to rip all this down and uh, get ready for putting that cleat up. board up here right now that we can lean it on. I've adjusted all these little pieces that go into the studs here. Now the big part is we have to lift this up somehow in here, over here, lift it on there, and then screw it in. So uh, uh, this will be the big test. If this one goes up easy, then the rest I think will be okay. But uh, if this one's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a long day. So let's see what happens. Oh, you know what else we got? Actually, actually hang, hang on one second. Will, 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 push that all the way into the wall, and we might have just been solved our problem. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're still gonna probably have to go, yeah, like a little bit at an angle, but maybe not quite as much of an angle, right? 
And this is definitely dipping on this side, which is again, something that we're just gonna have to figure out. Yeah, work on it the next one. How do you think? How you feeling? Yeah, we'll see. Got it. It's in. Woohoo! Will is the man. Glad that uh, he's coming up for visit for fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this will be the tricky part after that is that I think that once Wait, we this is one of the doors. This is not the next one. Oh, I thought the doors were going with the lights yeah. were. Okay. Now they're going over to here. So so this is just another panel, but what we could do is we, we could get it, we're gonna have to get it up and then put it on top of the tree, basically. We can use the tree as a landing, then we can push it over. The next one will probably, if we can leave the tree there as a thing, that's great because that'll be the door one. That's the heaviest one too. Then we'll have to probably bring the next one in, put it up on the tree, and then scoot the tree over to get it all the way over. You know what I mean? Well, I gotta be honest with you, I'm super happy that they came up to visit me because if uh, Will, Summer, and Jeremy weren't here, I'd be screwed. But nevertheless, we got half the ceiling up right now. Uh, we're gonna take a break, go play with some animals, and then we'll come back and hopefully finish the rest. So we've obviously been working our butt off trying to put that ceiling up, and uh, the good news is, is that Will wants to get a little cooled off, and he's from Florida. You also have had plenty of experience with wrestling alligators. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna just tell you first off that RJ's been a little bit tricky lately. He's a little bit touchy, and I am the only one that ever goes in with him, so you're gonna be in there uh, we'll see what happens. Let's have a good time, all right? What do you guys think is going to happen? Bless you. Well, that's, that's one of the biggest questions I get asked. Like, oh my God, you're in a pit full of alligators. You're going to die. I'm like, no, they're actually terrified of us. Right. He's do you mind if I... You can do whatever you want with him. He's super, he's actually very good. Once he submits to you, you're fine. There you go. <laughs> he's cute. So something too, um, which you know, I know you've been to Gatorland and stuff like that. So alligators that are in captivity, their heads are completely different than wild yeah. alligators. And I always like to tell people, it's like the same thing with the orcas in captivity, yeah. you know, when they're in captivity, their, their dorsal fin bends over. Alligators' heads go wider right. versus longer. Um, so you can tell, like, the ones in our facility, a lot of ours are ones that were taken out of the wild because they were on properties they weren't supposed to be in. They were what we call nuisance alligators. So, like, you can see the ones that have been there for 40-plus years versus the ones that came in two weeks ago. Right, like, yeah. How they're different, so, yeah. Yeah, the, the oldest alligator, unfortunately, just died about a month ago. Oh. Yeah, he, he was there, at, from what I was told, he was at the facility for, like, 60 years. Wow. Yeah, Isn't his head was super wide. It's crazy. But you, you can know, see like, what, he, what he's doing a little bit right now is he, he usually goes under that, that oh, to, to, sub, to submit. Yeah. So that's, oh, like, that's his right, submission, right. yeah, so... So, because uh, I won't let him win, you know what I mean? When I go in and he starts playing these games, I always make sure that he knows I'm the dominant, yeah. and then I'm going to pick him up and make sure that he understands. So, so he's, uh, and he wears out pretty quick. He's actually really good. Yeah. You know, you know what you're doing, so you'll be fine. You can do literally whatever you yeah. want with him. I've been handling alligators for almost 15 years now. Yeah. Very long time. Yeah, he's trying to go under there. It's okay, baby. Bye. Now he's starting to calm <laughs> down. <laughs> no, that's awesome. See, that, it, it's good though. Like, yeah, you know, I've heard of worse rescue stories yeah. with these, and it's like you know, you have the space, you have the time to work with him. He's not always trying to rip you off no. and rip your finger off or anything. So that's awesome. I think he's completely submitted now. I work with alligators 40 hours a week. So. Yeah. So you've had plenty. I, I totally just wanted to dip in well, this you, nice you cool Well, you cooled water. off. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, we got to get back to work anyway. Yeah, yeah, we got stuff to do. <laughs> Excited to also have Jeremy in the house. He's, What's of up? course, been a friend of mine for, gosh, it's been, seems like it's, 20 years yeah, or something. Right. <laughs> and we've known each other for a long time. He's actually a manager over at Nerd, of course, Kevin's place that we love. And we have a lot of animals from you guys. I yeah, mean, for we, sure. We have a, a lot of animals that come from Nerd, so I'll definitely put a link in all their stuff. Go pay them some love because they're always fun. But oh, yeah. one of the things I wanted to show you is you guys were the founders of cow reticulated cow pythons. Oh, yeah. Of course, this is my girl Perdita here. Yeah. 
you can take her out. She is she absolutely is awesome. wonderful. How many cows do you guys have, or can you not say? Oh man, no, I can I can say if I've ever counted, but I mean we have at least like probably 15. 15 yeah, cows. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh. And again, it was I what was the story behind that? Was wasn't it like he thought he had something else, like a phantom? Yeah, or? well, it was, you know, when cows are first hatched, they're, yeah. they're all white. Right. So he was like, oh, this, this is interesting. It makes it a leucistic animal, you know, and then it would shed and there'd be a spot on it. And at first it was like, oh, just random spot pops up and then every shed was another spot and another spot. Not and another he was like, oh my God, what is yeah. this thing turning into? And, and you know, now, I mean, it's it, it's totally random, yeah. you know, as and, you know. And yeah. it's interesting because, I mean, back then, I, I think, like, leucistics, everyone wanted leucistics. Right, right. So with it starting to get dots, he might have been like, oh, no, it's not a Lucy. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and then, but now, cows are one of the most sought after it. Oh, for sure. Out there. For and sure, yeah. Still one of my favorites. Of course, we have Moo Moo and we have Perdita. Uh, but again, we have so many animals from you guys. I mean, we have all our, you know, pretty much most of our monitors are from you guys. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of our retics are from you guys. So, uh, so again, I love getting out there. And we got to come out to visit you guys. Yes, again most soon. It's definitely. been a while, so but it's cool to have Jeremy in the house. We're going to have a good oh, time yeah. hanging out. So, uh, like I said, you can catch his antics on uh, Reptile Talk, which is a podcast. Yep. You can check out the live streams with Nerd. You can check out all their videos. They do, they do a lot of content like I do. So uh, go show them, guys. Love if you're fiending for reptile stuff, they're going to help you out. Well, as you guys can see, there's no way we're going to get past this tree with these branches on. It kind of stinks that I put the branches on and M1 them in and kind of started to finish them out. Now I have to take the branches off because there's just no way we're going to get the rest of the ceiling up. So uh, let's take them off and start working on the rest of the ceiling. It's getting there. Uh, we are now three quarters of the way done. Will, you're doing a great job. I appreciate you. Summer, you're amazing. Jeremy, not so yeah, much, but that's okay. <laughs> we got one last piece to go and this is done and we can ship it. And that's a wrap, guys. Uh, thank you so much, seriously, for your help. You guys are amazing. <laughs> God, uh, bro. I mean, I'm telling you what, these guys, blood, sweat, and tears, but we have a sloth ceiling now, so now the sloth can't get out, which is really good. Uh, just gotta get the tree back together and uh, then start putting all the extras that they need to do healthy, like, you know, branches and water bowls and dishes and all kinds of ledges. So, uh, yeah, now it's the fun part. No more hard work. This is going to be awesome, man. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> so we definitely still have some more work to do. We want to put some ledges up here, not only for Drogo to lay on, but also for them to eat because they like to eat and drink in an elevated area. Lots of vines are going to go in here. Ropes are going to go in here. Uh, lots more kind of little touches to do. But for the most part, we have our tree in now. We have our ceiling in now. The, the guts of it is here, right? So it's only going to get easier from this point. And like I said, this is the fun part, actually the decorating part. It's going to be really cool, but uh, I wish we could do more, but we're out of time, guys. we got to get on the road here tomorrow, and uh, we're going to have to do the final touches when we get back, which is completely fine because Drogo's going to need some time to settle in anyways. The way you basically habituate these is typically keeping them into a small enclosure and then letting them have a couple hours a day in the bigger enclosure so they can get used to it because they can stress out if you just throw them into a big enclosure that they're not familiar with, so you have to slowly get them used to it. So we'll be keeping them in the same small enclosure that he's staying in now uh, so that he can kind of get used to this but uh so this is it guys what do you think let me know in the comments how you feel about this because i am pretty darn excited and with that said guys tomorrow starts the adventure we head down to florida and we go get drogo we also are going to gatorland so that's going to be absolutely amazing too it's going to be amazing we haven't done an adventure in a long time so i hope that you guys are ready for this and keep in mind just a week later we do a really long 13 day adventure across the country stopping at some cool animal places so it's going to be amazing if you guys enjoyed this video right here you can actually watch us build the entire reptarium because this is a build type of thing it helps my click through if you watch some of those so please do up here you can subscribe to my podcast channel on this side you can subscribe to this vlog channel i hope you already are turn those post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and tomorrow we're going on an adventure